What's going on, YouTube? OCD for EDC here. What I got for your face balls today. We're going to do a fun video, but first, before I get into that, check that out right there. That's the brand new OCD for EDC press on tattoo. <laughs> Been on my hand since uh, for a couple of days now. And uh, yeah, still holding in there strong. If you guys want to get a press on tattoo, OCD for EDC, you know, go check out the website. And, uh, you know, we might give some away on some giveaways and what have you. Yeah, good times. You can also go to the website for all sorts of various other things like uh, CMEs and uh, various other EDC related items. Okay, what, we're, what are we talking about today? We're going to talk about this right here. These are uh, HRC testing files from a company called Subasan. Uh, these come from Japan. You can see here, hardness tester kit, uh, HRC 40 to HRC 65. It is a six piece file set. If you would like to pick one of these up, I'll throw a link up in the description where you can do so. Uh, they sell these over, uh, well, you can get these various places, but like I said, I'll throw a link up in the description. We'd love the support. Um, but this is it, Subasan, HRC testing kit, made in Japan. You know, the Japanese industrious little fellers. Uh, this is it right here. And you can see we've got HRC 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and 65. Now, I want to start this out by saying this is not the most accurate way of testing HRC, okay? I'm just going to disclaimers right now, okay? But what this is is a gauge to find out what HRC something is or kind of the level of that HRC. You can uh, do this for, you know, around, I think these are like 55 bucks, something like that. You know, compared to an actual Rockwell testing machine that costs thousands of dollars and has to be calibrated, you know, this is really just kind of more for fun, honestly. You're not going to get actual, real deal, accurate results. And let's just face it, we're all knife nerds. Anybody watching this is going to be a nerd about this kind of stuff. So it's just kind of fun, right? Okay, so I don't need a whole bunch of comments. People going, oh, but blah, blah, blah. It's, it's, you know, this is more accurate. I understand. This is not the most accurate way to test HRC. I fully am aware, okay? But this is fun, whatever. So I'm going to show them off. Now, what you get in this kit are the six-piece file set. If I can grab one out. And they are all color-coded. You can see right there, HRC40, Subasan, made in Japan. And they are a file set, okay? So this is, quote-unquote, destructive testing because we are going to scratch the metal. But I'm going to show you guys a way that you can do this without uh, scratching, you know, your beautiful knife. Let's just say, for example, here, let's use this for an example. This is my M390 coded bug out. Of course, I don't want to take this file and run it right down the side of the blade because of the coating. So I'm going to show you guys a way that you can do this without doing, you know, ruining one of your knives. Let's, uh, we're going to pull a couple of knives down here. One of which I'm just going to leave together because I don't give a shit about it. Uh, but this knife... So now we've got a couple blades out here. For those that aren't aware, this is the rare uh, CH1NA steel. So we're going to test that one. Um, this is a wonderful knife that my wife bought for me when we were at Blade Show West. Uh, for those that don't know, my name is Justine. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a rare piece, I've been told. My wife says this is... a uh, ultra ultra quality and rareness here in this particular model with the coveted ch1na steel so we'll test that we also have this blade right here out of max ace uh, killer whale this is an asp 60 blade so this is a very very hard steel and then we have a d2 blade out of a kershaw knife right here and we're going to check all three of these out and just see what we're dealing with. 
So first up, we've got an HRC 40. Now, I'm going to go through this pretty quick. I want to make this video fairly short. Um, but what we're going to do, I'm not even going to take this guy apart. Uh, what we're going to do is the deal here is, is if the file scratches the metal, then we know that the file is harder than the steel, right? And so this is the lowest of the files, HRC 40. Now I am going to scratch this blade right along here. So the coveted CH1NA blade steel. And let's see. Okay, so we have scratches right there. And let's see if we can... There you go, you can see the scratches. Those are scratches in that actual blade right there, okay? So that is 40 or less uh, HRC. Um, now I'm not gonna get carried away. I'm not like really pushing hard or anything like that. You know, if, if you're running this file on something that's way harder than the file, you're just gonna end up uh, ruining the teeth on the file. So I'm not, I'm not pushing really hard or anything like that. And I'm not trying to destroy what I'm testing, but you can see those scratches right there. And those aren't just on the surface. They don't rub off with my finger. Those scratches are there. Okay, now we're gonna take the HRC 40 file. Now on this blade, I could test anywhere, you know, under here where the, I, I wouldn't test where the detent rides just cause I don't wanna put a scratch in that, but anywhere where the handle covers up, which is basically, anywhere on the, the blade tang. So I'm gonna go on this side. I'm not gonna get into where the bearing or the detent rides. And we'll go ahead and see if this scratches this D2. Okay. You can see right there is where I scratch that little, that line right there. It's only about an eighth of an, or I don't know, quarter of an inch long. Uh, but let's see if it comes off when I rub my finger across it. Okay, so we did not scratch the D2. We saw a little mark from where it was, but it came off when I rubbed my finger across there. So we're harder than 40 HRC, which is a good, which is good news, right? Um, I already know this blade's going to be way harder, so I'm not even going to mess around with that one until we get up higher. Uh, but now this is HRC 45 uh, file. So let's see what happens here. Okay. So now um, it's kind of hard to see. There you go. You can kind of see it right in that area right there is where I did the 45. So now I'm going to rub my finger over that. Okay, so that two is also not scratching the D2. Uh, okay, now we get into HRC 50, which is this green handle right here, HRC 50. Okay. All right, now we're starting to get a little bit more of a scratch. You can, hopefully you guys can see that. I'm trying to get it to where you can see it just right. Uh, right in that area, right there. Yeah, it's hard to see. I can see it, there we go. There you can kind of see it, right there. Those. That's the HRC 50 file. So now let's see if I, if that will stay. Uh oh, we're getting, we're, we're, we got evidence. It's barely there. You can kind of see it just right there. I wouldn't call that scratches necessarily, but we're starting to get onto it. And now let's, uh, so now here's that HRC 55. Okay. And each one of these, I can feel as it's biting in more. Uh, that it's actually kind of, you know, biting into the, the steel a little bit. Okay, let's 
So HRC 55. I did it right. There, uh, there you go. You can start to see those scratches right there. There. Right there. And, yeah. <laughs> okay, so those are staying. All right, let me... Yep. Okay. So now um, I've rubbed on that pretty good. Uh, there you guys can see the scratches, I think, hopefully, right there. So oop, I'm hitting my camera now. I'm trying to get really close to the camera so you guys can see the scratches right there. Uh, they're very faint. Uh, but like I said, I'm not pushing hard. I just want to see if I can scratch the surface. Okay, now, and you can also see that I went perpendicular to the satin. There, oh, that even shows up better. So now you can really see the scratches. There you go. Um, I went perpendicular to the satin finish. So, you know, if I went parallel with it, it would be much harder to, to see that. But here is my handle. And so no one will ever be able to see that. So you can pull knives apart and test just like that. Now, just for fun, we're going to see on this coated blade, I'll show you real quick. Um, I'm just going to go straight up to the HRC 65, the black diamond here, uh, and just see if we can get any sort of a scratch because this blade's hard. <laughs> okay, so now on this blade, I'm going to test it because I don't want to test where the coating is. Uh, because I'll, all I'm going to do is scratch the coating. What I want to do is test on the lock face. Now, just a little word to the wise. You don't want to scratch up your lock face, but this isn't really scratching deep into the metal anyway. But you can see where the lock uh, interface is, where that hardened steel is rubbing on that lock interface, uh, or the lock face. I'm going to test up in here where the lock... Uh, the lock bar is not interacting with the blade. And again, I want to go perpendicular to the satin lines here. So I'm going to go at an angle like this right here. And I can already tell that this is just skating across there. So, so we're definitely harder than 65 HRC with this particular steel. Um, I don't even know if I'm leaving any kind of a mark there. Let's see. Oh, man, I can see it, but it's super faint. Super, super faint. I should have grabbed a steel that was softer than that. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, like I said, I don't want to make this video too terribly long, but uh, this this uh, ASP60 uh, blade steel is, you know, this thing's going to be, it, it doesn't surprise me that it's north of 65, honestly. Um, but there you go. There is the Subasan HRC file set. That's how you use it. Uh, if you do read Japanese, there's instructions on the lid for you. There's also some fun little pictures here. Uh, but this is the file set. Like I said, I'm going to throw a link up in the description so you guys can uh, check it out if you want to pick this up. I, like I said, I think they're like 55 ish dollars. And it's just, you know, again, for us that are just full on nerds about this kind of thing. Uh, you know, just a fun way to uh, do a little at-home testing and see what uh, what your blades are and at least get an idea, right? Like, it's not the most scientific test ever, but it's going to get you close. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Go check out the website, ocd 4 and I will catch you next time. Peace.